edge of your seat. All mm -hmm. right. Well, season two of the Chicago Bay Show Boss, starring Kelsey Grammer, premieres this Friday on Stars. And joining us now is our Windy City Live producer and movie critic David Plummer, who actually got a behind-the-scenes look. Well, thank you. Hey, thank you. Yeah, they're happy to see you after nice Trinity Lynn. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to actually go behind the scenes on the set? I did. In fact, and all the years that I've worked in TV, like 17 years or whatever, I've never got to go behind the scenes on a TV set. So this was pretty cool for me. I mean, this is one of the best shows on TV, yes. I think. If you like The Sopranos, this is a show you want to you wanna check out. So everybody, take a look at my behind the scenes look at the show Boss. Hey guys, David Plummer here. I am on the set of the show Boss, which airs on Stars. It's the show starring Kelsey Grammer, where he's the mayor of Chicago, the evil, like mostly evil mayor of Chicago. So we're at City Hall right now, and you can see the stuff going on behind me. You got craft services, you got people that are uh, getting ready for the big scene that they're shooting with Kelsey. We're taking you behind the scenes. This is really interesting stuff. Take a look. I was most excited to meet Kelsey Grammer, of course, but before that, I got to chat with some of the other cast members, including Hannah Ware, who plays Kelsey's daughter on the show, and a guy who goes by one name, Broke Timmy. Rolling. What kind of man does that? Sends his whole daughter to jail. And if you don't get her out, I swear I'm... You'll do what? So you're just 22 years old, yeah. and this is your first... You auditioned for this. This is your first time yeah. auditioning for anything. So why, why decide to come and audition for the show? And coming straight out of college, you know, you, you, you wonder what's going to be your first job and how you're going to be able to feed yourself. And, you know, I just I just came up blessed, man. Just just lucky. Yeah. Acting isn't even, even actually your first love. I mean, no. music is really the yeah. thing that you... you yeah. So tell me a little bit about your music. Um, I've been singing since I was six years old, and uh, I've been able to perform all around the world. Um, I've opened up for like really big acts. And um, <laughs> can you sing a couple bars for us? Oh yeah, for sure. All right. Tonight I want to make a hit record and turn the bed into the studio. Turn off the phone. This is a closed session. Girl, this is what we've been rehearsing for. <laughs> great, man. That's great. That's great. I'm not that person. You're not that person. I'm sorry. So what's it like working uh, with a guy like Kelsey Grammer? Is that is that a little intimidating at all, or is that uh, just a lot of fun? Is he, is he a friendly, nice guy? He's the nicest guy ever. I know that sounds completely boring and cliche, and um, but he really is um, a lovely, lovely person. You look beautiful. Emma! I have to go. Wait. Wait, Emma, maybe I could just call you from time to time. I don't know, Dad. Emma, please, just to talk. Hannah and Timmy were even kind enough to give me some fashion tips. I'm going for that same kind of swagger that Kelsey Grammer has. Oh, right, yeah. Well, you, well, need, you need the blue eyes. I need bluer you have eyes. Blue eyes. I Those do. really piercing blue eyes. Yes, what else can I do? I mean, aside from the obvious. He's uh, partial to a Tom Ford suit. So oh, really? You could get one of those. I could. I don't you know have if the he, height. I do have the height. I don't know if Tom Ford makes suits in big and tall men, but I'll try. I don't know. He might. <laughs> I'm sure he does. We'll see. Look at you. Like, look no, at me. We no, got. Oh, Kelsey dressed me today. That's uh, what Really? Yeah. Wow. You just need to get dressed by him. Oh. You know, and he'll hook you up. He'll make, you know. Uh, he'll make it better? He'll make it tight. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. I, I, need, I need tighter everywhere. <laughs> tighter. No, no, no. <laughs> I also chatted with new cast member Sanaa Lathan. If we lose the majority, Kane votes in a tiebreaker and wins. That can't happen. It means too much to too many people. I need you to vote against him on this. We have a deal. We got a new one. I play Mona Fredericks, and um, I grew up on the south side of Chicago and pursued a career in politics, and I wind up working for Kane. Kane happens to take an interest in me that may go, go a little bit beyond uh oh, uh oh, shocking. One thing they don't tell you about TV and movie sets, you spend a lot of time doing nothing. So before I got to meet Kelsey, I had some time to kill. Um, we got here about five hours ago, so uh, I've been here long enough to actually pass a referendum. So Clark Street, free parking for the next year.
Finally, the moment had arrived. Fraser Crane himself was ready for his close-up. If your employer wants to be a factor in this negotiation, tell him to show up for work. Have, uh, have Mayor Emanuel or uh, former Mayor Daly been in to, to kind of check in on the set? Well, you know, they haven't really been around when we shoot, but I, I've had dinner with both of them, and mm. we've had a good talk. I think I you know, just wanted to make sure I wasn't, you know, out to do a headpiece. <laughs> of course. Which of we course. aren't, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, you're not playing either one of them. No, so. I mean, it's, it really is a, a, a created mayor identity that is... is maybe a combination of a hundred years you know I mean? <laughs> how do you end up playing a guy like this I mean how do you get ready for a scene where you have to go in and tear someone down basically in, in many of your scenes how do you prepare for something like that mm, you don't really prepare I mean, at least I don't you know there may be people that do but uh I just trust the material and uh, and uh, go with it. Uh, I think actually we were standing outside. We could hear the, you pounding that gavel, so it was getting pretty big in well, there. Yeah, thanks. thanks. So, good. <laughs> so I'm I'm this guy. I'm like pro at least twice your size, but I'm terrified of you. <laughs> <laughs> how do you pull something? Like, I mean, how do you come in and carry yourself in a way that you're you're the mayor? You know, you've got to be the mayor. Mm. You've got to prove that you're you know you're gonna you're gonna knock these people down if they get out of line. How yeah. do you pull that off? Uh, yeah, well, it's just. Uh, it's just determination. <laughs> okay. It's just, you know, that, that dog in the fight that, you know, has a lot of fight in the dog for that thing. Mm. You know, he's, uh, he's a big presence. He absolutely is a big presence. So, all right, well, thank you so much, Thanks, Kelsey. Man. All right. Thanks Have a, a good one. Thank you. Thank you. So how long did you end up on set? Yeah, I mean, I, we, we got there about 5 o'clock, probably didn't leave till about 11 o'clock. It was a long day, because it, it is, it's a lot of sitting and waiting, waiting around for stuff to happen. Yeah, so. moving lights, moving equipment, it takes time. Absolutely. But now that is actually a, not a set, that's really City Hall. Oh, yeah, You're really in Hall. Mayor Emanuel's chair I was around. in a, <laughs> Mayor Emanuel's chair. I'll, I'll probably be audited at some point, <laughs> but I was spinning around in his chair. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of time, but it was fun. All right, I nice. think the phone's ringing now. He wants to speak it, to I'm you. I'm sure, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, David, stick